Master. What happens when we find Thrawn? For some, war. For others, a new beginning. And for us? Power. Such as you've never dreamed. Your legacy, like your masters, was one of death and destruction. So this is what I'm wondering about Balin's character now that we're four episodes into the show. Is he talks about this power that others can't fathom. He talks about, you know, Anakin, Obi-Wan, you know, former masters of, of Ahsoka and how they brought death and destruction. I'm curious and wondering what death and destruction is Balin talking about? Is he looking to start a new Jedi order in, you know, in when he finds Thrawn? Is he looking to stay in that galaxy that they're headed to? Is he looking to honestly be in second command of this war that Thrawn is, is he's looking to have Thrawn take, you know, run? You know, again, I'm questioning this because, you know, he has his own pain. He has his own his own uh, way of thinking when it's pertaining to reasons why he left the order and why he doesn't agree with the Jedi way anymore and he's a dark Jedi now and pursuing whatever this power and whatever else that he's looking for is he possibly looking to start a new Jedi order from his own mindset that maybe possibly doesn't deal with the light side of the force uh and maybe a little bit of the dark side maybe it's it's, it's more of a in between and we know that he is very powerful in the force so this is just something that i'm questioning and wondering will we gain that information here in the show i'm hopeful that we will gain more of his thought process his perspective and why he's doing what he's doing for this cause and this power that he's searching for and why he has so much hatred for the jedi themselves but what do you all think of this video leave some comments comment section below guys let's talk about some things and remember the force will be with you always